Welcome back to Dollywood. I have not recorded on most of my visits here this year just because I didn't, but I'm gonna record today because I decided I wanted to, which seems like a pretty good reason to me. I'm in between exams right now. My exam schedule is kind of jacked, so I got like three days before I take my next exam. So I figured I'd take a little bit of a breather and come to the park. I haven't had the chance to be here on a weekday in a long time. I usually have to go on weekends because obviously I have class during the week. And of course, most people are on here weekends because most people work during the week or have school during the week. So coming here on a weekday, you get to experience very light crowds. And yes, I know the parking lot looks pretty full, but this is still very light crowds for Dollywood. It's only about the first two parking lots that are filled. And usually you can get up to four or five parking lots filled on a weekend. So this is much better than that. See, so yeah, I'm just walking in, getting a little warm up. Unless I'm, I have to be like back in D before I'll ever take the, the trams. I find it better personally for me to walk and get warmed up for the day, even though it is a very long parking lot. We can see some rides poking up over the trees. So uh, yeah, that's a thing. Looks like they've already put the uh, top and the roof back on lightning rods structure there. We'll see that when we get over there in a second. Oh my gosh, look, you can actually freaking walk. This is crazy. Yeah, so they're actually working on it today. You can see a dude on the top there. So I'll go ahead and get my construction update now in just a second while they're working on it. I will say it's pretty cold today. It's not that bad right now with the sun shining and everything, but they've salted most of the packs so that it doesn't freeze because it is going to get down to like the 20s tonight when the sun goes down. Which will certainly be the coldest theme park day of the year for me. So, uh, burr. Also means rides are probably closed, but that's all right. All right, I'm now going to ride Rock and Road Ray, their antique car ride, to try to get some closer up views of the, at least the bottom of the launch. Seeing an empty queue for Rock and Roll is going to be beautiful. Oh yeah. Love that. All right, I spent way too long getting that construction update, but I'm pretty proud of it. Got some good shots. So, and now I'm gonna get lunch. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all wanna see a, a ripoff? I paid $6 for this uh, ginger orange juice. I mainly only did it because I wanted to finish my uh, Infinity Gauntlet of 2023 Dollywood Festival Cups. It's annoying because the seasonal beverages they do are actually really good. And of course, since it's Dollywood, of course, they're non-alcoholic. And holy crap, a duck just flew down from the sky and tried to steal someone's food. Anyways, they're just, they're way too expensive and I keep buying them and that's my problem, but still. It's also funny because just last night, I watched a, a defunct land video about Disney's uh, Handwich and uh, you'll never guess what I have. They just call it a chicken pot pie cone, but it's definitely a Handwich. You can't convince me otherwise. I saw that, I had to get it. Oh, they're lifting a pretty big piece up the lightning rod over there. Just barely saw that between the umbrella and the roof of that building. That is much bigger than the pieces they were lifting in earlier, but I'm not gonna get a shot right now because I'm busy eating a handwich. Mm. Hello there. Um, hi. Yeah, you can't have my lunch. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Bye, dude. It is incredibly nice to be here when it's not very crowded and you can just walk on the paths without clashing with millions of other people. 
So I'm gonna uh, take advantage of that. Go ride some rides with uh, no lines. I was gonna say go ride some of my favorite rides here, but that's a lie. I'm just gonna ride them all. Except for Lightning Rod. I'm not gonna ride Lightning Rod because I don't think it would pass safety inspection right now. I walked all the way to the back of Wildwood Grove only to discover, uh, you can't see it, but. Big Bear Mountain is literally the only ride in the entire park that has a weight right now. But I walked all the way back here, so I'm riding it. It is only 15 minutes, so that is not too bad. I don't know why, so all these screens in the park now, they have like anti-glare coatings or screens on top of them now, which they, which make them much easier to see with the naked eye, but for some reason, you gotta get some like weird angles to get them to show up on camera. So every time I pass the screen on video now, it looks black, but I swear they're very clear in person. In fact, they're more clear, because like I said, it's an anti-glare screen, but anyways. in like 20 minutes uh they're only running one train so that's why it's the only thing in the park with a weight which kind of sucks at least the audio was working because last time i was here audio was uh, not working the onboard audio was not working uh they fixed it so that's good on at least one of the trains <laughs> yeah i want to ride it again but i don't want to wait it's over 30 minute wait now so i'm gonna go uh do dragonflyer yeah the wait for dragonflyer is shorter than uh, big bear mountain that doesn't happen very often because Dragonfly usually has a, a much lower capacity. Oh, there's like nobody in line. Oh, that's great. Finding Dragonfly or a walk-on is always a, uh, a very pleasant surprise because it's a decent ride. I mean, it's nothing too special, but surprisingly forceful, especially if you sit in the back row. <laughs> that drop in the back row is better than the drops on most full-size roller coasters. It's a really good drop in the back row, but I just don't usually do it that much just because with, with it only running one train and everything, it usually has like a hour long line and it's just it's certainly not worth an hour wait but a walk-on i'll do that of course 
All right, I'm gonna ride Mystery Mine and see if the fire is working right now. It is, it's, it's a cold day, so I do hope the fire is working. The theming on that ride is just so incredible. I, it, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy some good theming. That's the main reason I like Mystery Mind as much as I do. And, and that ending is fucking incredible. I actually managed to have my restraint a lot looser than usual that time. So I actually physically went airborne on the last drop. So very nice. Also, there was no grouper. It's so like you got to pick your own row. You know, great experience at Mystery Mind today. Also, was not running near as rough as usual. Just all around a great time. But then they had to ruin it because the fire is not working. Still. All right, let's go get some fire that uh, that works, hopefully. So I swear like the last three times I've tried to ride Fire Chaser, it's broken down while I was in line and not reopened the rest of the day. So hopefully I'll, I'll be successful in actually riding this time. I'm just walking through Fire Chaser's queue. It's empty. Anyone that's been to Dollywood before knows how incredible this is. So funny thing about Fire Chaser, they continue dispatching trains at a three train interval, even when they're only running two trains. So then you just get like long gaps in the station <laughs> where there's no train there. It's still, a, it's still a really good family coaster though. I do think Big Bear Mountain's still better in my opinion, but I understand why some people still like Fire Chaser better. It's pretty vibrating though. It's not like rough, but it definitely rattles around quite a bit now. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's showing its age a little bit. But it does have fire though, so take that Mystery Mine. Other thing with Fire Chaser, I find, I find Mystery Mine's fire is, uh, is very hit or miss. Fire Chaser's, it always works, always. And it warms up that entire room, it really does. Which is really nice when it's cold outside like today. Now that's what I like to see. Empty cube. I mean, I just pretty much everything here right now, but still. Go Silver Gates are swinging it up, and if you're ready to fly, make some noise.
Englishman. exit through a gift shop, but only at Wild Eagle for some reason. So I did both sides of Wild Eagle, and just for a good effect, I rode on the outside wing of the back row on both sides, so I should have gotten pretty much the same experience with the only difference being the sides. And I can pretty confidently say that they feel exactly the same to me. I don't know. Some people are like swear on most wing coasters that one side's better than the other, but I've ridden Wild Eagle a lot and I swear that both sides ride just about the same the only difference is the views that you're gonna get on each side I think on Thunderbird the right side of Thunderbird is much better but I honestly can't tell a difference on Wild Eagle I ran Tennessee Tornado now you could probably tell unless you're not very familiar with Dollywood then you don't know that that's what this building is but that's where I am Just rode Tennessee Tornado. The sun is starting to go down now, so it's gotten like way colder instantaneously. So that was uh, that was that was pretty freezing. But yeah, Tennessee Tornado is good. Just really cold right now. Um, in more interesting news, Blazing Fury is down right now, and I overheard one of the walkie-talkies say that it was down because somebody climbed out, so they had to e-stop and evac the ride. Those of you that aren't familiar, Blazing Fury, it's more of a dark ride than it is a roller coaster, and the roller coaster sections are very tame, so it just has a buzz bar style restraint, so it locks in one position. And yeah, you you could climb out of that if you really wanted to. <laughs> just thought it was basic common sense that you, you wouldn't do that, but apparently somebody did. It's what I heard, so that's kind of funny. People are stupid, I guess. The sun is setting fast. I am on my way over to the Village Depot to hop on the Dollywood Express and ride it at night at the, the 6 p.m. departure time. So hopefully I'll make it in time. It's kind of dusky right now. So it should be dark by the time that I'm on. And I haven't, I don't think I've ever ridden Dollywood Express at night before. I think it was just last year or the year before that that they actually started running it at night. Apparently they have a Christmas lights display at the top of the hill that you can only see from the train and some stuff like that. So it should be fun. I'm gonna head over there, grab a cup of hot chocolate, and uh, enjoy that train ride. All right, I haven't ridden Thunderhead today. I don't know how I forgot that. My favorite operating coaster at the park right now. Lightning rides down. Uh, but I don't wanna miss the train, so I'll get some night rides on it afterward, though. The park is open till nine, and it's not even six yet. With how empty it's been, gosh, so loud. With how empty it's been, I don't think it'll be a problem to get some night rides. There is the drone show at 8.30 I want to make sure to see, but again, should be plenty of time. Yeah, I'm passing the wait time board right now. Everything's a zero, so. It's the Christmas train. I don't have the lights turned on yet, but. Yeah, so the train is broken, but at least I got some hot chocolate, which is nice and warm because it's getting pretty cold pretty fast. So I guess I'll go ahead and grab some warm dinner as well real quick. They said they're hoping the train will be back up for the 7 p.m. departure. Uh, so I'm gonna wait out for that one. Just significantly limit any time I have for night rides, but I've ridden everything here at night enough times. I'm not too terribly concerned about that. I'd rather do the things I haven't done before, so. So I'll grab some dinner and see how much time I have after that. We'll be running, go get a ride or two before the train. All right, from Market Square, I grabbed an Italian sausage skillet. It's always one of my favorite places in the park because they, I think they have this big cast iron skillet thing and they, they cook all the 
potatoes and veggies and stuff there, stir in the meat. And it's pretty good for theme park food. Also, this hot chocolate's really good. It's really sweet. If you like sweet hot chocolate, there's a lot of sweet. I like both sweet and rich hot chocolate. They're good for different reasons. But yeah, uh, I'm hiking up the hill to Barnstormer. Still got plenty of time to kill before that 7 p.m. train ride, if the train's even operational by then. Gonna kind of stay around this area, but all that's really around this area is Barnstormer and I might go up to Blazing Fury. Yeah, let's go get a night ride on, on Barnstormer, why not? All right, I pretty sufficiently froze my ass off in Barnstormer. That, that is a fun night ride though. I, I don't remember it being that fun of a night ride. It's because it's a really clear night tonight, so you can see all the stars. And there's something really cool about on the swings where you're facing the sky, just flying up toward a sky full of stars. That was really fun. The weather app is currently reading 39 degrees. Uh, so we're supposed to hit 34 in the next hour or so, which is below the point that most rides have to shut down. So we'll see what happens, but we may not be getting any night rides after the train. <laughs> That's right, my friends. I also experienced the best night ride at Dollywood. Of course, I am talking about Blazing Fury, a ride that is really so much better at night. Oh my gosh, it's so warm in here. I just like walked into the room and it's just so warm. I've become more and more of a fan of theming as time goes on, so I enjoy what is basically, or is Dollywood's only dark ride that's also kind of a roller coaster. Also, it's just really warm in here, which it's not outside. Oh shit, here we go. Oh, it's like stepping into a freezer, except you're stepping into outside. All right, I do have fantastic news. It appears the Christmas train is boarding. Let's go to a Christmas land. I'm on the Christmas train. Nice. Control fire steam driven engine and she will spew out smoke, soot, and cinders. So please be sure to protect your eyes as well as the eyes of your children. Folks, the cable overhead is for medical emergencies only. If there is a true medical emergency, please pull down on the cord for two seconds and release. Those two whistles you just heard tell us that our engineer has received our all clear and we will be pulling out of the depot at any moment. As we get ready to depart, let me remind you of a couple of the safety rules you will need to know for our trip today. Please remember to remain seated at all times. This doesn't include small children, as they are not permitted to stand on your lap, on the seat, or on the floor. If you have small children in your group, please have them sit in the center portion of your seat with an adult on the outside edges. Also, remember to keep all body parts inside the car at all times, and the use of tobacco products is not permitted during our trip. Thank you. Moving you folks back here on the last few cars to wave about to your depot master, David. There he is down there on your left hand side. Everybody say bye, David. Bye, David. Well, David, we're going to go and check out these Christmas lights. We go out of town. All the same thing. One, two, three.
Most of the drones from it. You can see all the drones here, apparently. Wow. Under the right hand side, that's where those drones are going to take flight from. That'll be tonight at 8 30 in Wildwood Grove. Hundreds of drones will take to the sky. Nice but drones. <laughs> I bet you didn't know you were being pulled up this town by a crew better before. foot tall LED Christmas tree that'll be on your left and it puts on a show for you every 20 minutes up here in Wilderness Pass. Everybody just remain seated for me. We're coming to a temporary stop here. Nice backstage area. Yeah we made it look cool. We're about halfway back and we just stopped. <laughs> that poor engine's been struggling big time compared to usual. Start moving again. So everybody just remain seated for Hopefully. sometime. We hope that you enjoy the rest of your night here at Dollywood. The park is open until 9 o'clock and don't forget about our drone show up in Wildwood Grove at 8.30. All right, that was a fantastic nighttime train ride. I'm really glad I held out to do that. It was really cool to get to go and see all the lights in the park from the perspective of the train. It was a lot of fun. Although I will say, as good as that train ride was, I could tell that the locomotive was, was struggling because I've ridden that train a lot before, so I kind of know what it's supposed to feel like. So I could tell it was, it was struggling big time. Like I said, though, it was down earlier today for maintenance but I kept feeling like it was gonna stop several times and there was that one time we did stop for a little bit I don't know exactly why but at least it got moving again uh, it's so weird to look up over here and not see lightning rod lit up because usually the lift has lit up it's definitely not today though wow anyways I did want to record the full train ride but I didn't get to because I did not have near enough battery on my phone to do that so I just got some clips that you saw so that'll be the same deal with the drone show. I'll just get some clips because 
my battery is, uh, phone battery is not gonna make it that much longer. Also, as much as I do like to have those videos sometimes, uh, it is kind of nice to not have to hold my phone up perfectly straight for 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I would say Glacier Ridge is a pretty good description of how I'm feeling right now. My weather app says 36 degrees Fahrenheit. It definitely feels a lot colder than 36. <laughs> so. Well, I got my rides on Thunderhead just in time. Pretty much right when I got off, it closed for uh, weather because it was too cold. So I got like the second to last ride on Thunderhead for the night. See, so, yeah, all the all the all the outdoor rides are just dropping like flies. I say outdoor rides. Blazing Blazing Fury is the only indoor ride, so all the rides in general are dropping like flies right now. People have gathered everywhere. It looks like. Watch Joyful. Let's see if I can find a good spot here. Something like that, maybe. Two, one.
right, I just saw Joyful Season of Light, which is their Christmas time drone show. And yeah, no, it was pretty neat. I liked how they experimented with some kind of newer stuff, like having the laser lights and sparklers with it. I do think as a whole, it felt a little bit short. It was only about seven minutes long. And it felt like it didn't have some like big punchy moment. Most of the most of the scenes were pretty drawn out for how short the overall show was. It's the first time they've done a show like this at Christmas time, so I get something to build on for future years, I guess. Again, not saying it was bad by any means. It was, it was still pretty good. I think I was just kind of expecting a little bit more. But again, they can always build on this next year, and I'm pretty sure that they will. I, I doubt it's going to be exactly the same next year, so. It is, it is very cold. I don't know if it's actually below freezing or not, but probably close to it because all of the outdoor rides in the park are now closed. Uh, Blazing Fury is the only thing that should be open, but it's currently broken. So there is now officially nothing to do other than go look at the Christmas lights, which some people are doing. Uh, but I'm actually going to head up to the front of the park to the uh, bakery and grab something. Surprisingly large number of people here for the fact that it's a weekday, weekday night and, uh, and that everything was a walk on for practically the entire day. Where did all these people even come from? <laughs> all right, finished my bakery run. It is time to head out and look. It's Santa Claus, the man himself. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's so much fake snow. <laughs> this is parking lot C, ladies and gentlemen. Parking lot C. And again, please make sure you look around and show me. Make sure you have all your values with you. And we ask you please remember to see them until we come to the police stop. And we'll let you know we're safe day. Oh, it's so warm in here. Wow, that was a that was a cold night. See, so in the bakery, I got this nice uh, Rice Krispie treat. You can see most of the bakery stuff this year for the Christmas theme, they actually went with like a Glacier Ridge theme, which is the area, like the back half of the park, where all the Christmas lights are like themed to being all snowy and, well, glaciery. So that's what they went with for all the decorations this year, which is, looks kind of cool, but not particularly Christmassy, but whatever. All right, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> 